Welcome to the Garden City High School TV and Digital Media Club podcast. Our goal is to bring you the best content from the events and happenings at Garden City High School, filled with the diverse voices of our students and faculty. We hope you enjoy listening as much as we enjoyed recording. Our first segment today is an interview with the stars of Steel Magnolias, the recent production for the fall play at Garden City High School. Please enjoy the insights from these very talented actresses. Hi, my name is Maeve Gillespie, and I played Malin in Steel Magnolias. Hi, my name is Emma Hardy. I played Nell in Steel Magnolias. Yeah, so we're both seniors, and uh, it was really such a great experience to be in Steel Magnolias. We both personally love theater so much and are both uh, taking theater arts, so this is with Laughlin as well. Um, this process was really difficult for me because my character was uh, very emotional and uh, dealt with hard losses, and I think as someone who's only 17 years old, that was difficult to kind of, um, I think, capture. And, um, yeah, I just want to say, like, Miss McLaughlin really made it such a good experience, um, as well as the other um, teachers. And, uh, yeah, no, I definitely agree. Like, I think kind of, like, getting into the characters was a bit hard at first, especially since, you know, it does take place in, like, the late 80s and we're all from the South. And most of us are playing characters that are actually different from our actual age ranges. So um, it was interesting to kind of step into that world but it was really nice um we definitely focused on a lot of character work throughout the rehearsal process and throughout like after school we would do certain I guess games and stuff that would help us step into our character which really made it easier I think for all of our little six member cats to kind of work together and build up our own storylines almost definitely also theater arts helped with that in that class and those building up a foundation so we can learn yeah and i think also uh as someone who's pursuing theater in college as well um it's nice to have such a uh tight-knit cast and i think that was really helpful and um you know the rehearsal process we had was that of what it would be in the real world which i think was really interesting and yeah that deep dive into character work was um really beneficial to really add um to the show And yeah, that's like something I really love about theater is just like how close you can become with people that you normally wouldn't. Um, And it's just like the human connection that that derive from this rehearsal process is so uh, almost like inspiring. Like it it, is that that is that big. I would 100% agree with that because I think this was like almost like a it was exactly like you said, like a deep dive, like a concentration into like theater into this very specific show the only literally the point was to have like the women and all their connectives together mm-hmm. and i think that set the fact of having these connections made it almost just a very um yeah like you said it seemed very upscaled and almost like mature in yeah. a sense where we were all we all had a respect for theater in the show i think mm-hmm. and we all like earnest respect for the characters we were playing and it was Finally, we have an interview with the sophomore class president about what the year ahead holds and what she is most looking forward to for the 2023-24 school year. Um, hi, my name is Abby Stesko and I'm here with the sophomore class president, Kayla Cherney. I know you were a freshman class president last year. Is there anything you learned from last year that you're going to use to make this year better? Um, yeah, definitely. Last year, our bake sale was not that great because we didn't really know what to do. I think that might be a freshman thing. So this year, we're def- definitely going to get more places involved because we got to win battle of classes. Um, I also think we need more preparation for like bake sales. We need to get bake sales out in general, not just the battle of the classes bake sale. But, like, we're probably going to do one early December just to start the Christmas vibes and do something for that. We need the whole class involved. So, definitely learned that. So, why did you run for class president? Well, I think I ran this year because I ran it last year. And I really enjoyed it last year. I enjoyed making a difference and getting to be a voice. 
And so I wanted to be able to do that again. And I knew a lot of people um, supported that. So we're going to bounce back to Spirit Week a few weeks ago. How, um, what grade do you think had the most school spirit and why? Um, I wish I could say us, but that's definitely not true. Uh, it's it's definitely the seniors, but I think the senior class is special because they won pep rally last year, um, and they definitely like to step it up there. They are crazy, yeah. What is your favorite spirit day or event at Garden City High School and why? Um, specifically this year, I really liked Barbie Day or Breast Cancer Awareness Day. I think that's a really important cause. And I like that we were able to get the whole school involved with it by also making it something fun. Um, you know, I just like the bracelets. I like, you know, raising money with the bake sale, too. So it's a really good cause. It's a great day. How is this year different from your freshman year? I think as a class and as a whole, we definitely know a lot more. We're less scared in terms of, like, I don't know, teachers yelling at us. We're kind of, like, used to the whole routine of things. Um, I also definitely think that there's, like, a stigma around freshmen, and no one really likes freshmen, so it's kind of refreshing to get around that. And I think as sophomores, we're able to see that freshmen aren't that bad. So, um, What do you predict for Garden City football this year? Um, I'm actually a big Garden City football fan myself. I like to go to a lot of games. I'm a football fan in general. Um, I think they're definitely going to get to Long Island Championship like they did last year. I hope they win. I'll be there, hopefully, for all the playoff games, cheering them on. So, yeah, I hope that they win. I get to brag about it to my friends who don't live in Garden City. Do you play a school sport? I do. I um, am on volleyball and softball. Is it easy to juggle sports and being president? Um, it definitely depends. I think it's going to get harder on varsity sports because sometimes I have a meeting and I'll have to like miss a whole practice. So hopefully the meeting doesn't land on a game day. So that might be an issue. But as of right now, I think it's I think it's definitely okay to manage. Um, what are your goals as president this year? My goals are basically to just make the class like more spiritful, if that's a word. Bring just make us more like a group instead of individuals. I want us to work together and um I wanna hear everyone's voices. I always love I have a lot of people that uh, ask me questions on Snapchat when they, like, need to so know something, and I usually have answers, so if anyone ever needs anything, I got them, and, yeah, I want our class to be better as a group and have more school spirit. It's a great answer. Um, what do you enjoy most about being president? Um, I think I, and I think I said this before, but I really enjoy getting to be a voice for the class. I like when people come to me for help i like helping people and i like when people find out that something happens that i helped make happen and then they like are excited about it so i definitely like helping people that's a big part of it how can we get students involved in issues around the school that is quite difficult sometimes but i think that especially when it's like a cause or a foundation if we do an event in which like community service hours are given, everyone's pretty committed to getting a lot of community service hours, one for honor society and two just to graduate. So I think it's a big thing when you offer community service hours. I know Italian club that just did a walk for a foundation and it was like every dollar helps you get a few hours. So that was really fun. And also bake sales, new bake sales for foundation. People might not always be willing to just donate money, but when there's candy or food and snacks for it, that's how you usually raise a lot of money for stuff. What is about the easiest decision you've made this year, and what is the hardest decision you've made this year as a president? Um, as freshman class president, I would definitely say one of the harder decisions I had to make was I was on a board in which 
we were deciding if we were going to lower the percentage of the region's grades because it was 20. Last year went down to 12. There's kind of a lot of factors to think about about that because the quarter percentages go up. And I think that for kids that are in honors classes, that might negatively affect them a little more because your average might be a little lower and then the regions won't bring it up as much if you get a good grade on it. But for the percentage of kids who are struggling and don't get the best grade on the regions or just have a bit bad day on the regions, it definitely helps when their average doesn't get destroyed by a 20% thing. But it was a definitely a hard decision to make just with all the factors contributing to it. I think one of the easier decisions to make was um, just trying to um, get everyone in involved for certain things like I'm not gonna not want people involved I want everyone in on decisions I want everyone in helping pep rally so it's like when putting stuff out like that that's like really easy to do especially with social media and we're gonna wrap it up with one fun question what was your favorite memory from being class president last year I think my favorite memory was actually after I found out that I was elected and actually similar to this year too and getting to call my parents and tell them because they were super excited. And then um, this year, actually, just getting elected because I wasn't really expecting it. So that was that was pretty amazing. That was pretty fun. And then last year, like, not with the election process, I would just say, and this sounds silly, but, like, getting to meet with the superintendent every month was actually quite fun because we got to like bring up a lot of issues and that's the student council and anyone can join student council if they want um every other tuesday morning but yeah that was actually really fun because you kind of like build relationships with people in different classes and it's um you get to like share issues and see as things get fixed and that's actually a quite enjoyable process well thank you for joining us today on our new podcast Yes, thank you for having me. Thank you so much for listening to the GCHS TV and Digital Media Club podcast. If you love this content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and be on the lookout for future updates. Mm-hmm.